So you want to make that thing that comes out of the jet engine. I've got two versions for you. One is for space scenes and the other one is for flying in atmosphere. You can also download this project file. The link is in bio. Since there is no air in space, there is no fire. So a blue light is a typical way to indicate a thruster. These would be electrical propulsions. But how do they work? So rather than relying on high temperature and fluid dynamics to accelerate the reduction mass to high Anyway, put a volume behind a light and you've got it. Use a gradient to smooth it out. If you want more detail, you can add some by modeling them to the ending of your engine. Or you can import an image texture and use it as a light source. If you don't have any, no worries. I've made a free little pack for you to download. You can also play around with the volume density, like I did here, inspired by a real engine. Add a cylinder. The step count isn't really important. Rotate it and scale it. Then apply all transformations. Add a new texture and import a principal volume. To shape it, let's use a gradient texture and change it to a quadratic sphere. Press Ctrl T and change scale and location to your liking. With a color ramp, we can limit the volume and split it into two flames. Let's add a wave texture. We can use that to add some detail and convey movement later. Adjust the scale, distortion and detail to make it look more natural. Add a color ramp to control the intensity. Now combine both textures with a mix shader set to add. Connect the first texture with the factor and the second one with B. Let's add even more detail with the noise texture. Adjust and stretch it a little. Then connect both with another mix color node set to subtract. Lastly, we want it to fade out at the end. So get yourself a gradient texture and leave it at linear. Press Ctrl T and adjust rotation, position and scale. Also use a color ramp to help with that. Finally, mix it with another mix color node set to exclusion. Connect that with the density and emission strength. With a math node, you can now control the intensity of your lighting. Duplicate the color ramp from the beginning and connect it to your emission color. With that, you can control your inner and outer flame however you please. Let's add some movement. Go to the mapping node of your wave texture and animate the position. If you can't see your animation case in your timeline, just click on your mapping node. To add even more movement, set the origin in front of our cylinder. To do so, we need to go to edit mode and select the face. Then shift S and select 3D cursor to volume. Leave edit mode and do a left click on your object. Then select Origin to Cursor. Now we can adjust the length without it moving. Even better, we can use a noise modifier to do the job for us. You can also animate the overall length, which is very useful for animation. You can also add a particle system to get some sparks going. A final touch is heat distortion. Use a gradient texture to make a mask and use a noise texture to create heat ripples. Put all that into the IOR and normal of a refraction node, then animate your parameters. You can also use the system to make some sweet distortions for sunrise scenes 